What's up guys, my name is Jay, and I am back with another episode of my Let's Play series. So, if you've been watching my Let's Play series for a while, you'll notice that my text, texture pack has changed. I usually use Faithful, but I thought I'm going to switch it up, and I downloaded Svax texture pack. So, I'll update the download in the description to my latest texture pack, and I really like this texture pack like the glowstone lamps and stuff so much nicer than default and yeah it's a pretty cartoony texture pack but I actually really like the look of it I've used this texture pack before and with the updates and stuff it looks awesome so let's get straight back into building this potion room so we're gonna head up here and so far what we've got is we have the individual dispensers for the unique ingredients which is the first six but with every time we dispense we want to have this line dispense here as well so the way we are going to do that is take some redstone current off here uh, this way and I'm going to use glowstone for this. Glowstone's probably the best block in Minecraft at the moment because of the way it handles redstone. So we are going to be using that. And I believe we need four more pieces of glowstone along here. I'm trying to do this off memory, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping this will work. It looks like it'll work. If not, we'll just change it up when it's done. So, as I fail nicely there, we should... Hmm, is this right? You know what? I'm going to nip over into my creative world and check. I'll be right back. So, yeah, I was actually doing that right. So, we need another block here. And another block here like so and then we'll just run redstone and connect these up and if you know much about redstone then this circuit would link up usually and create a constant loop so it never become unpowered but the way glowstone works is it won't transmit redstone downwards so this actually stops that happening Let's give you a quick demonstration of that. I uh, yeah, yes. thought I placed one wrong. Bollocks! No nice way of putting that. That was a, a mistake. But anyway, so if we have redstone like this and a redstone torch, as you can see, this redstone won't pass downwards however it will pass upwards so this can be used in a lot of different things and I wish I had my silk touch with pick with me but I'm not prepared as usual but yeah so usually this would create like an infinite current and would cause all sorts of problems but the fact that glowstone won't transmit redstone back down is awesome for this build and it means that you can compact it without using repeaters and stuff so now we need four repeaters going into the blocks above the dispensers and that's what's going to cause these blocks uh, these dispensers to dispense if you're wondering why there's glowstone here it's because of a block update glitch and if you don't have these blocks, then basically these furnace, uh, furnaces, dispensers, would fire like two off. No, 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 sorry. These bottom dispensers would fire all at once, not just the individual ones. So basically what I'm saying is you press this button. You want that 
dispenser to dispense which is your unique ingredients and then you went all the top four to dispense because there's going to be three glass bottles and one never water in there so that is how that will work so if i just fill this up now and give you a quick look at what i mean i'll just put a stack of these in each and i'll break that up and break that up and then fill these ones up as well i'll only do it with a few that's enough so basically when i press this button this dispenser should fire and the one above it should as well i can't really reach that as well as the whole top row sorry so if i hit that as you can see we get five blocks we get the top four dispensing as well as the single ingredient one at the bottom and if we were to press this button same again top four fire but only the one that we want to fire will fire so that's a nice little redstone trick to keep in mind for your future builds and yeah i need to think of where we're going to go from here so give me a second and i'll be back so the next step we're going to take is going to be to put in the optional lines so the additional items such as your glowstone and gunpowder that are going to give additional effects so as you can see here you leave a one block gap under the glowstone and then place two blocks like so and then we need to get back up uh, don't know if I've already mentioned this but I've actually cleared this place out quite a lot since last time so hopefully shouldn't be too much in the way whilst we're doing this but yeah them blocks there we need another block here with a repeater on and another block here with a repeater on and then on the two blocks we placed underneath I'm going to put redstone on there and I'll explain why I'm doing this in a second so as I said before gl uh, glowstone is a sort of weird block the way it transmits redstone but it also counts as a transparent block so although it looks as though it's cutting off the supply it's actually not the redstone is going on top of the glowstone as well as underneath so basically when I hit any of the buttons down there this will get a charge and so will the line underneath and what we're going to do here is we're going to have blocks on pistons that will be pushed in front of the repeater when we want them to be and that is going to be how our options work so if it was like it is now then this would get a pulse but this wouldn't dispense anything because there's nothing in the way to receive the current however if that blocks in the way then this would dispense something because it's getting a current so what we need to do is we need to do the same again for the other redstone line and I believe it's at that height hopefully that's probably not right to be honest I'm going to put it at two heights and then I can just destroy one so the redstone is underneath there and we will mm, yeah something doesn't look too right about that I'm going to go and check something again <laughs> and I'll be back I guess yep okay so I've figured out why that was looking weird there is in fact these two well that one shouldn't be there at all it should be lower than it is so there should be a block there with a 
repeater on top and I don't have any repeaters on me it's not a problem I was sort of prepared and I think I bought some smooth stone with me so we can actually make some and there we are stone I don't think that's enough there we go so I'm just gonna make a bunch of repeaters I'll probably make quite a few 16 should do for now because there is quite a lot of repeaters used in this build due to stopping current passing to other things and stuff like that so we'll head back over there and jump down onto here and pop a repeater there so we now need a sticky piston <coughs> excuse me sticky piston to push a block in front of this current so it can be transmitted here this block's needed by the way to stop the currents connecting and I'm going to do that on the other side but basically I believe one above here so on this block like that and then when that gets power it comes in front of this repeater and that will allow the current to pass so let's repeat the process on the other side it's a lot more awkward building in survival than I when I've done this in my creative world it's so awkward getting up and down and stuff but you have to deal with that I had the same problem when I was building my mob spawner so I'm kind of used to it by now so that's not really a, a problem so that is more or less done just need to put in the sticky pistons for this side now so one above there I believe like so and yeah like that and like that so that will go in front of that repeater which is sweet and then we need to do that and pop a repeater on there and then something very similar again so sticky piston and a block so yes that's looking pretty good I'm not going to hook up the controls today because I'm actually off out in a minute so I haven't got that much time to do it but I'm going to give you a quick example sort of thing uh, how am I going to do this put a block there that'll do so if we pop a redstone torch down on there and put something in this repeater let's put why do I keep saying repeater dispenser even and we will I don't know why I've got grey wool in there so I can press this now and obviously we get our five blocks and nothing else and if this was to be receiving power we would press it and we would get five blocks plus our dispenser would be dispensed so that's how we have our additional ingredients these are going to be hooked up to a control panel so it will be basically a row of RS null latches not RS null actually, sorry, um, T flip flops. And that will allow us to control which ones of these we want active. So if we want, we can have more than one active. We can have extended duration and splash, or more potent and splash, or whatever, really. We can mix and match them. I'm also going to have a button for just the unique ingredient. So if I press this button, just the bottom row will dispense, not the top row. And there's also some other nice features that I want to implement. So I'll be doing that. This 
doesn't seem to be working when I'm down here by the way I think I'm too far away from the spawner but that's not a big problem you know it'll uh, it'll work when I'm up top and I've got so many mob drops off it already that it doesn't really matter but yeah that's basically all we're gonna get done for today because like I say I'm off out but we're starting to get there we've hooked some stuff up now we've got these lines in I think next episode we're gonna be building the control panel and wiring up these optional bits here in fact no we're not gonna have an episode here we are going to do one last bit of circuitry and then we will call it a day so reason I'm running over here is because I need to make another couple of sticky pistons quickly make another six I use sticky pistons a lot so I don't mind making a few extra and there is cheaper ways of doing this you can have them vertical with sand on top and it'll just fall down so you don't have to use sticky pistons or whatever but I've got the slime balls spare because of my slime farm so I'd prefer to do this so another line that I'll be implementing is I will have a block here like so and then I say and then so much it's uh, pretty ridiculous but I'll have a sticky piston here which will be constantly extended and this will be the optional cutoff for the just unique ingredients so when this retracts it cuts off this line here and no power will go to the top row so I'm quickly gonna pop these in and then that will be it for today basically and sticky piston in actually no that's wrong uh, is it wrong no no that's right so yeah that'll be extended and because the piston arm is a transparent block signal will pass right through and then when it retracts it will cut it off so that's going to be it for today I could have done this another way by the way by moving it out and having it extend to cut it off but this way just makes it slightly more compact and slightly neater so that is it for today that's all the optional bits in so as I said next time we will be adding in the control panel and break yeah got it so yeah next time we're going to be adding in the control panel and maybe wiring them up I'm not sure yet we will see but until next time I'll see you later guys peace so what we're gonna do is where I place these buttons here these are gonna be the buttons to choose which potion you want we're gonna come and we're gonna place redstone torches along the back on them buttons so when I hit a button the torch will go off and come back on <laughs>